Hi everybody, my name is Eran Stern, I'm from Israel and I'm happy to show you how you can create the opening sequence to the famous movie The Smoke, which is of course a fictional title to a fictional movie. But using After Effects, we can recreate these letters under a smoke screen in three simple steps. So let us begin. First, we will close this comp and the only thing that you need to take care of is some smoke footage. I'm using this video as our smoke footage for this tutorial. But you can use your own, of course. The first step will be to create our displacement source. So we will drag the smoke footage to the make new composition icon and also we will change the name of the comp to this place and the only thing we need to do here is select our smoke footage go under effect blur and sharpen and choose fast blur now we will enter a value of 10 in blurriness and also make sure the repeat edge pixels is selected this will make our displacement a little bit smoother in the second step now we will return to the project and we will drag this displace comp to the make new comp icon once again, change this name to text and now we can start to design our text. Before creating the text let's just make sure that title action safe is active. Now we can use the text tool and let's just type in the word the smoke. I will choose the word smoke and change its font to Arial Black. Also, I will increase the size to 150. I will hold down Control or Command at Mac and just move this title. The smoke word is still selected, so I can hold down Alt or Option and using the down arrow, change the leading of the lines. Now it looks quite good so I can close down the text tool come back to my arrow tool and position the text approximately the middle of the screen also I want to change the anchor point to the middle of the O now I want to hit the letter S in the keyboard and make a little bit of animation to the text but before doing so let's just make the smoke letters displaced or using the displaced that we just prepared. So we can shut down the icon for the displays, select the text, go to effect, distort, choose displacement map and define that the displace layer is going to do so. Also let's change here from red to luminance in both cases and change the maximum horizontal displacement for the horizontal and for the vertical of course to 10. Now if we can just scrub we will see that the letters are getting their distorted from the displaced layers that we just prepared. Coming back to the project panel and we can drag the smoke footage in the middle of both layers. So we want to see the smoke inside the smoke letters of course. We can shut down the title action safe for now. So we will make sure the smoke footage is still selected and we will change it from none to alpha mat. Now the text is actually blocking all the pixels and we can see that the letters are looking very nicely together. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of animation going to the first frame and we will make a keyframe here, start from zero, going to five seconds and we will do 100%. Also, let's make sure that both keyframes are selected and hit F9 to get an easy ease motion on these letters. Now we can see the result and we can move on to the third stage which is the final design stage. So by now you probably guessed that the next step will be to take this comp and drag it to the make new comp icon and you are absolutely right. We will also change the name here to the smoke and let's just drag down the smoke footage and make sure that this text is still selected and we will change its blend mode to screen. Now we will see that they are both reacting very much 
like a screen text on a smoking background, which is no surprise, of course, but we need to change it a little bit. So while the text layer is still selected, we'll go under effect, color correction, and we will choose levels. And we will just slightly move this black arrow until we will see some more of a cleaner result. Now, what I want you to do is go and add another effect under blur and sharpen, use a fast blur, and we will do a value of five. It will just blur this text a little bit more into the scene, make it look a little bit more smoky. Also, we will select this text and we will edit, duplicate it, and let's add, instead of fast blur to the upper layer, effect blur and sharpen cc fast radial blur change its mode from standard to brightest and make sure that this center which we can see here is a little bit offset to the top this will generate some feel of volumetric lights using the smoke as a reference and it will look better and much more cooler while our result looks not too bad, but I think we can go the extra mile in order to sell this effect and make it look a little bit better. We will do it with a couple of adjustment layers. So right click anywhere in the comp window and let's add an adjustment layer. To this adjustment layer, I will add a filter which start with the digit four, which is four color gradient, of course, and we'll just add it to these adjustment layers. Now I will change the colors. The first color will be white. The second color will be a darkish blue, somewhere around here. I will leave the third color as a pink and I will change the fourth color again to something around the white colors. And then we will change the blending mode from none to multiply. This will add a nice tint to our scene, which I think is looking a little bit more mystical and appropriate to our needs. Now we will right click again and add a second adjustment layer. Make sure that we will select the ellipse tool in the shape here. Double click it in order to fill this layer with a mask. Now go to the effect and choose blur and sharpen and fast blur. Under blurriness, we will write 40 as the value and we will use repeat edge pixels. Now change the mask mode from add to subtract and hit the letter F in your keyboard and just change the feather value to around 300. This will make the edges a little bit blurry, which will make a little bit more sophisticated look, if I can say so, or something like more a smoky look to the whole project. Now we can move to the main composition screen, hit the tilde, and let's do a final run preview to check the results. And this, my friends, is our final result. Smoking! I hope you learned something. My name is Eran Stern, and I will see you next time. If you like this tutorial and want to see some more, you can check up my website. There are more tips over there, all in Hebrew, of course, but hey! After Effects is a universal language, don't you agree?